Hello subscribers, this is yours truly jblue68 coming to you with my next video. This is my first video of the new year. Um, I hope that you enjoyed your new year, uh, whether it was with friends or family, whoever you spent the time with, or even just yourself, like I did. <laughs> hey, as long as it was peaceful, and as long as it was safe, it's all good, right? Uh, before I get into this new year video... I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, for liking, sharing, and commenting. Please continue to do so and tap the notification bell so you can get more vids like this as I post them immediately. Well, um, I'm just very excited to, to present this video to you because I've had my eye on this item for some time now. This is going to be an unboxing of the Bogotan Kree's um, helmet as she appear as it appeared in the Mandalorian series, as she appeared in the Mandalorian series. And of course, the character was was played by actress um, Katie Sakofi, or Katie Sakoff, if I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. And just to give you a little brief history, of course, the character was originally created by Dave Filoni uh, in Star Wars Clone Wars, like about what, 15 years ago? And she, re and she reappeared in Star Wars uh, Rebels. Uh, where she was voiced by the actress, but the actress herself has actually gotten to play the live-action version of Bogota and Kreese in The Mandalorian. And what a wonderful performance she delivered. What a wonderful and powerful performance she delivered. I've loved her uh, uh, performance in um, all the seasons. And just great to see the actual actress who voiced the character you know, portray her live-action. That doesn't happen often. Um but yeah, so I brought, I have the uh, box here with the helmet inside of it right here. And then I also have the action figure I brought up of uh, Boca Tan Kree's, which is uh, both are from the Black Series. Okay, and here's the action figure here. You can see that. And that looks just like Katie Sackhoff. It's a very good uh, rendering of her. And then there's a miniature scale version of the helmet. I've shown this before in previous videos. What I really lo love about uh, the series, too, and about the Mandalorians, how he's presented them, is the variation in their helmets, the colors of their helmets and the designs of their helmets, like this right here. Here's uh, Sabine Wren, and I've shown her in a previous video, too. Um, and you can see the difference in the color uh, dynamic of her helmet versus, uh, versus uh, Bogotan. You get this look into more focus there uh, versus Bogotan's helmet. I love that. Uh, the designs again show the individual, uh, th as them as individuals, although you know they, they exist as um, a race, but they also exist, exist in individual clans. And then, of course, here is the Mandalorian himself, Dinjarin. Okay. And you see his uh his um what is it called Bas Beskar armor, which is what all their armor is made out of. Okay, and there's those no, there's no designs on his armor at all. Um, then I also brought out Boba Fett. You know the first Mandalorian we've ever seen. Okay, there he is, Boba Fett. All right, and I've shown all of these before in previous videos. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get uh, this baby unboxed. Um, and I've had my I've had my eye on this for some time. I picked it up at GameStop uh, the other day, and of course they have their year-end sale. You know where everything is kind of marked down. Here's the side of the box, and this is made by Hasbro in the uh, Star Wars Black Series. And this has been out for some time, uh, but, you know, I had to wait till my money's right to actually get it. And the money was right, fortunately. It has LED effects um, on the helmet, and hopefully we'll get to show that. And then we see on the uh, box Star Wars The Mandalorian. Uh, here's the very back of the box, which shows the LED effect, too. And I already, I already partially unboxed it. I just kind of took the tape off. Okay, right, and just want to show you all sides of the box, and then here's the top of the box here. Okay, 
Star Wars, the Mandalorian. Let me see if I can close that. Okay, back that out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Star Wars, the Mandalorian. Okay, hopefully you can see that in the Black Series. Um, these helmets are quite expensive. I don't plan on buying all of them. Again, to me, uh, her helmet really stood out amongst the others that I've seen, which are mainly will have been ma mainly been, as I just showed you, Boba Fett and then Din Djarin's, uh helmet too. Okay, let's see. All right. So here's the top of the box here. Get that off. Um, this is some kind of plastic. Be very careful here. And it is quite heavy. Okay. It's quite heavy. There we go. Alright. Looks like there's something else in the box. I'll get out and this is probably uh yeah, this is the, the attachments for the uh uh scope. That's on the side of her helmet. Whew, yeah, that's pretty hard too. Um, not exactly sure what it's made out of. No, not plastic. Okay. Wow. Let's use my hobby scissors here. To help get her out. And I just want to mention too. Katie Sekoff, the actress, will be at Motor City Comic Con, uh, Motor City Comic Con, this upcoming May of this year. And I'm absolutely going to meet her and get her to autograph this for me. She and uh, actor Giancarlo Esposito, who plays, plays as uh, Moff Gideon, will be at Motor City Comic Con. I want to get her to autograph this. Um, and I'll have, I'll have uh, more information pertaining to that in the description below on my, uh, here on my, uh, on this post, on this video. Wow. That is gorgeous. That's a gorgeous helmet. That is a gorgeous helmet. Okay. Let me see if we can back this up a tad. This is beautiful. Beautiful. So can, it's, it's, it's a big helmet. I'm not going to put it on my head, but. Man, wow. That's just beautiful to behold. I love that color scheme. Uh, the blue and the white and black and everything. Here's the back of the helmet. It looks like it has some battle damage to it. Okay. And it's like on the side here is where the attachment goes. Um, for the uh, periscope. I guess that's what it's, what it's called. I'm going to take that out of the baggie here, okay, wow, <clears throat> this is my first Boga, uh, most, one of the first helmets I have for the, uh, um, what are they called, the Mandalorians, <laughs> that's what they're called, uh, first helmet I have, of one of the Mandalorians, I have one, a couple of, hel a couple of helmets I have from the, uh, uh, what am I trying to save? Of the um, clone troopers. I have a couple of clone troopers, hel clone trooper helmets. I have a Darth Vader helmet and um, I think one of Grievous, Jano Grievous. But these things are large and they take up a lot of space. And as I've said before, I'm, I'm almost pretty much out of space. You know, in terms of um, my collectibles, I just went through my storage unit this past weekend to make. Uh, some more space, you know, so that I can continue to get stuff like this. So it's a matter of, when it comes to collecting, it's a matter of money, it's a matter of time, and it's a matter of space. You know, I have to, you know, space to put this stuff. Um, until I can get a bigger space. <laughs> All right, let's see. And if I don't get it to light up in this video, you know, I can always do, I will do a shorts video with it lit up. But man, that is awesome. 
And so you can see, these are the leads here. You know, to attach to get it, I guess, to where you can get it to light up. If I can get these on here correctly, then we'll be able to show that. Uh, but um, they're in the process now of writing season four of The Mandalorian, to my understanding. And what I've read is uh, season four will actually be a full-fledged movie versus a TV series. I'm cool with it either way. I honestly prefer for it to say as a TV series versus a movie because they were talking about doing a big movie, you know, where there's uh, going to be a battle between, you know, um, Thrawn and who was introduced in uh, Ahsoka finally. Uh, between Thrawn and the Mandalorians, um, you know, reclaiming their planet from the Empire and, or what, and whatnot. Uh, let's see. All right, there it goes, but I'm not sure if I can get it to light up. Let's see. Okay. I want to read the instructions, Jay Blue. But I'm going to get my hand out of the way there. Um, yeah, so hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so anyway, this is the unboxing of uh, Bogotan Kreese's helmet. For those of you who collect helmets, I know there are a lot of people who do. And a lot of people actually wear these uh, in cosplay at Comic Cons. Um, so for you cosplayers, here you go. Uh, the Bogotan Kreese helmet. Uh, again, from Star Wars The Mandalorian. Let me try one more thing before I end this video. And again, I'm really excited to have this. It's a, it's a really beautiful piece. Just very well done. Um... But they made several helmets from the Mandalorian series. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right. You know what? I think I'm just going to do a shorts video. Uh, it looks like it requires a battery. And I'm not sure if I have a battery. Yeah. I don't think they supplied it with a battery. But yeah, I'm going to do a shorts video. And I'll have the, um, the scope here. Uh, lit up for you guys to see so but in any in any case that's it that's all again this is my first video for the new year i hope that you've enjoyed this video unboxing please like share and subscribe and tap the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as i post them immediately again happy new year thank you for joining me peace love and hair grease